What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're on the PBE looking at the newest champion to be released on the PBE and the champion that will be coming out very very soon to the live servers. I'm making this video on Saturday. Yone will be coming out on Wednesday. So we just got like four or five days to kind of get ready to start preparing for that. So in this video today we're going to be running through everything you need to know about Yone and that's the first and most important thing. His name is Yone. It's not Yone. It's not whatever else you pronunciation you want. Riot has officially announced that it is Yone. So make sure you start by calling him the right name. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over all of his abilities, combos, builds, rune page, everything you need to know, everything you are going to need to be successful with Yone that very first day he comes out. So you can start gaining an LP right away. So if you know what he does, hopefully the other team won't know what he does. So either even if you want to play him or if you're going to be playing against him or whatever, this video is just going to help you out in so many ways. Uh, we're going to be covering everything. Hopefully you guys need to know, again, to be prepared on that first day that live patch comes out uh, to start winning games as or against or whatever as Yone, even having him on your team. Uh, before we get into this one, I should have mentioned real quick that we have recently unlocked channel memberships for just a couple dollars a month. You can help support me, my channel, my content. If you like what we do here, if you like my videos, um, if you gain any value or anything from my channel, consider becoming a channel member today. And in return, you get some really, really dope uh, member exclusive perks that should hopefully make it worth your while. But again, consider becoming a channel member today. Here we go again in today's video, which is again, everything you need to know about Yone. Uh, first up, he's Yasuo's brother. He's really, really badass, really edgy, really cool champion. He's a mid lane melee AD assassin. Um, he's supposed to be really, really fun. He's supposed to be like high octane, going for kills, making big plays, stuff like that. First up, we're just going to run through all of his abilities. We're going to read them. We're going to look at them, see what they do. Um, because I think it's really important when a new champion comes out, you need to just look at what he does. Look at everything before you just start trying to figure it out in game. Uh, we're going to talk about his abilities first and then go through it. Um, yeah, again, this is just PvE, so stuff could change a little bit to live, but this should be pretty much what his kid is when he goes live. We'll also have another video once uh, he gets out on the live server to kind of go over some more stuff. First up is his passive, which is Way of the Hunter. Yone uses two blades, causing every second auto attack to deal 50% magic damage. Yone's critical strike change is doubled, but his critical strikes deal 10% reduced damage. Uh, so that is his passive. We are going to spawn an enemy target dummy and look at that. You see he's got the two swords, he's got the red sword and the white silver sword. He attacks with the first one, then he attacks with the second one, which is going to deal the magic damage. It's going to give him the increased uh, crit chance and the little bit reduced crit damage. But yeah, there's his passive. As far as his Q, Mortal Steel, Yone thrusts forward, dealing physical damage. On hit, grants a stack uh, of, it says nothing, grants a stack of blank for six seconds. At two stacks, uh, this skill causes Yone to dash forward with a wave of wind that knocks up for 0.75 seconds and deals um, increased physical damage. Um, so right now we have cool, cooldown reduction turned off just so I can show you guys the ability and stuff. So we're going to do the double Q. So here you go. There's his first Q. Uh, there's his second Q. Now we have two stacks of blank and now we can do the dash. Um, and you can see it's really, really long range. I was kind of surprised by the range. Oop, missed Q. That's dumb bad. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. All right, we're going to try that again. Uh, all right, we get the Q. You can see the range goes all the way out to there. And then you get this full dash and knock up, and it still does the damage. Pretty crazy. Uh, he does have some nice synergy with Yasuo. As you can see, he does have a knock up. It's pretty reliable. Decently easy to land. Uh, I mean, it could be easily like flash and stuff. But if they don't have an immediate dash, you're going to be able to knock him up. He's going to be good against like a mobile mages and stuff for sure with that ability. Um, maybe Yone Yasuo bot lane is going to work. I don't know. Um, Yone mid with Yasuo AD carry could definitely work and be a nice composition. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool ability. Um, I like how it's like similar to Yasuo, but it's different. Um, but I'm just very, very surprised about that range. It seems so far away. Like that's going to cover like a lot of mid lane. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting. Next up, his W Spirit Cleave. Yone cleaves forward, dealing 5 plus 5.5% uh, max health physical damage and 5 plus 5.5% max health magic damage as you put points in w the max health damage does increase and then if yone hits he gains a shield for one and a half seconds the amount of shield increases for each champion struck having a shield is really really important for him because he is a melee again melee assassin in the mid lane um you're gonna have to get on top of people you're gonna have to be dueling right on top of them you're gonna have to be fighting right, right in their face having a shield is gonna be very very important um just on getting survivability and stuff uh, so we can take a look at his W. There it is. You can see we get the shield. It does the uh, percent max health damage to him. And then we can spawn some enemy dummies and uh, see what the uh, bigger shield looks like with the W. We get a little bit bigger shield as we start to hit more people. Clear those dummies and put this guy back. All right, next up we have the E, which is probably the most interesting ability. It's what people have the most questions about. It's what people talk about the most. So, Yone enters, this is called Soul Unbound. Yone enters a spirit form for five seconds, leaving your body behind for the duration and gaining 10% ramping movement speed. So you're gonna start out a little bit slower, you're gonna get faster as it goes on. 
Uh, when the spirit form ends, Yone snaps back to his body and repeat 25% of all damage he dealt to champions during this time. You may recast this skill uh, during spirit form, and recast is going to end the spirit form early. So his E is like a little Z ult. So we can check that out. You can E forward, and then you just get all the damage you want to do, whatever you're going to do. And then it's going to snap back and you're going to uh, deal the rest of the damage to him. So we can take a look at that once again, just because it's really confusing. There's a lot going on. Um, you see we have the timer there is our health bar. And you can see it does that little snap of extra damage at the end. It's kind of hard to see the extra damage um, on the target dummy and stuff, but uh, it's definitely there. Um, we have we can do like a full combo, see what that looks like. Get the ult going and snap back and we get the increased damage. It's pretty crazy. Uh, there's a lot going on. I want to see what happens when you just recast. That's just me snapping back right away. Um, obviously, you do just leave your body um, and they're going to know where you're going to snap back to. So it's going to leave you pretty vulnerable and you're going to be in trouble. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting, pretty crazy ability. Um, definitely cool. Uh, it's going to make for a lot of like cool outplay potential, a lot of big plays, but also the other team definitely has ways. They definitely have counterplay and stuff to counteract, but it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, finally, his ultimate, Fate Sealed. Uh, Yone strikes all enemies along a path for physical damage and magic damage, teleporting behind the last champion and knocking victims towards Yone. So here we go. Here's the ult. Again, Fate Sealed. He gets behind the guy that he uh, ulted, that, like, that he hit with the ult. Pretty interesting ability. And then we can see it when you have uh, more enemy dummies, just because I want to show you guys how it uh, like knocks them uh, into Yone, kind of. You can see it kind of pushes everybody together. So that's pretty interesting. Pretty crazy ability. Um, as far as runes on Yone, he does stack Conquer very, very well. He has a low uh, cooldown Q. He has a lot of abilities that he can stack up well, especially with melee auto attacks and stuff. So you're going to want to go, this is just a very standard Conquer page of Conquer, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Taste of Blood, and Ravenous Hunter. I think the healing is really, really important on him with uh, Conquer, Taste of Blood, and Ravenous Hunter because one, Conquer, Ravenous Hunter, Taste of Blood, all overpowered. A lot of people take him on most champions. Um, but again, getting those shields, getting those healing, being able to win extended fights and trades is so, so important for a melee champion in the mid lane, for assassins. Um, it, it's just going to be a really, really great rune page on him. It'll work really, really well. Um, Legend Alacrity could, it probably should be Legend Tenacity in most matchups, depending on how much CC they have. Tenacity is going to be super, super good for Yone, because again, you're melee. You don't want to be getting CC'd. Uh, if you get CC'd, you're not going to be able to get anything off. You're not going to be able to do any damage. You're going to explode because you're going to be pretty, pretty squishy. Um, so Legend Alacrity can be good because obviously it helps you get more autos off. It's going to stack Conquer faster. But Legend Nasty is going to be good in some matchups as well. Um, as far as the build, we're going to be going for like a Phantom Dancer into Berserker Greaves, Infinity Edge, and then Death's Dance. Uh, pretty expensive, but <laughs> I can't talk. Pretty expensive build. Um, but I would say these are the main four core items on Yone. Phantom Dancer, Berserkers, and Infinity Edge for sure are going to be core. They're going to be really, really strong together. Death Dance is a pretty broken item right now. After that, you have a couple different options. Uh, depending on their CC, Merc Skim is going to be decent. Wit's End could be decent. Guardian Angel is never going to be a bad choice on somebody like this. Um, I don't know if I'd be going Static Shiv, but uh, these are going to be your four core main items. They're going to allow you to scale pretty well, be pretty good in the mid to late game, and just be very, very strong. You're going to be hitting crazy crits. You're going to have awesome survivability with Death Dance, but you're going to have really, really good damage um, with your abilities as well. And it's just going to make you a real threat, and you're just going to you know, be really, really strong, be able to do a ton of damage. Uh, again, Yone is he's really fun, really interesting, really exciting champion, Yasuo's brother. So there's going to be a lot of Yone, Yasuo in the mid lane. There's going to be people trying to play him together. There's just going to be a lot of stuff going on. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he kind of fits into the meta. If he's good, if he's bad, who knows? I think he's going to be a champion probably with a really, really low uh, win rate right off the bat. I don't think his kit is as insane. I don't think he's like as hard to play as like a Yasuo or like a Riven or something like that. Um, I think he's a little bit more straightforward, but... Um, especially with his E, I think a lot of people are going to be doing crazy plays with that. I think he's going to be pretty uh, easy to like set up for some easy kills, especially early on. I think he's going to have a low win rate early on as people start to learn him and stuff. That's pretty much what uh, Riot's doing with all new champions right now. Um, but he definitely looks really exciting. He looks really fun. It's cool to have another mid lane assassin, another AD assassin type champion. Um, and he does big damage for sure. He's going to be really, really interesting. He is fun to play because he has like this ability is so cool mini Z ult so interesting um it'll be really exciting this ult is so cool um it knocks up it it's another dash he has the uh, q tornado thing that is going to give him some more mobility so he's got a lot of outplay potential he's ha got a lot of skill expression i think people are going to be able to get really really good at him it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes people to get like on that that type of level as yone 
Um, but yeah, he's he's an interesting concept, an interesting champion. I think he's going to be really fun. I think we're going to see a ton of him. I think you're going to, if he gets strong, it's going to be the thing where you have to decide if you want to ban Yasuo or Yone because they're both going to be really, really annoying, really scary champions in the mid lane. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to be a uh, just immobile mage against like a Yone. I think that'd be very, very scary. And uh, yeah, I think he's going to fit into the meta well because it's, uh, it's a lot about um, assassins right now. It's a lot about early game. It's a lot about mobility. And he's going to fit into that. And he's going to be really, again, just fun, exciting to play. And I think he's a cool champion that Riot is releasing. I know a ton of people are hyped up for him. And I think it's rightfully so. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about Yone? Are you going to be trying him out? Are you going to main Yone? Whatever. If you do try him out, let me know how it goes on PV, on live servers, whatever. I'm really hyped for him to be coming out in just a couple of days. And we'll, we'll for sure have some more videos and gameplay about that. Uh, subscribe, stay updated on all my latest content. Consider becoming a channel member today. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.